Over half a million New Zealanders have cast an advance vote in the general election, but they're not the only ones who've been to the ballot box. Southland Boys High School pupils took to voting booths yesterday as part of the Electoral Commission's Kids Voting Programme. We are basically learning about what are we going to do in our future when we leave school and when we're allowed to vote and this is when we enrol, we've had the chance to enrol and now we are going to be voting on our parties, well, our candidate of our Invercargill City and our um, party. As a means of preparing them for later in life, pupils learn to vote for real candidates and then compare their classroom's results with those of the real election. Pupils must first enrol for the mock election, then study each party to find which best aligns with their views. I reckon it's pretty good so when you're out in the world, uh, well, out in New Zealand, you might be a bit nervous knowing what's ahead of you, but with this, like, vote for kids here, it sort of prepares you for later on in life, and so you're not, you might be a bit embarrassed to ask people how it works and that. To ensure every first-time voter is in the know for tomorrow's general election, the Electoral Commission have released a step-by-step -step how-to video. You will have two votes, a party vote and an electorate vote. Work out what political party you prefer and give them a tick. Next, give a tick to the person you would most like to be your local member of parliament. The candidate you choose does not have to belong to the party you choose. He or she can be from a different party. But remember, it's the party vote that determines how many seats each party gets in Parliament. The more votes a party gets, the more seats it gets in Parliament. Voting places will be open from 9am to 7pm tomorrow, with today being the last day to enrol. Sharon Rees, The South Today.